G'day everyone, my name is Cautious Pancake and welcome to Infinity Horde. This is my first playthrough series for 7 days. After 2 years of making videos on YouTube, I thought it was about time. The Infinity Horde playthrough is based on a new small modlet that I've created that turns 7 days into a challenge mode, where you have 50 days to prepare for a horde night that never ends. You'll get an infinite number of zombies spawning and the challenge is to see how many you can kill before you die. To do this, for each of the Horde Knights, the mod will set a minimum number of zombies to be killed, so that unlike vanilla, you must kill them all to be able to end the Blood Moon, rather than having a set amount of time to kill as many as you like. So there'll be no AFK bases here, you can't progress to the next day until enough zombies are killed. For Horde Knights, there'll be a visual indicator to count down how many zombies are still needed to be killed, so you can keep track, and I'll get into more of the nitty gritty of how it works as we progress through, but that's the broad strokes. In terms of settings, I'll be starting off on Warrior difficulty with XP set to 125% just to keep things moving. The Blood Moons will be every 5 days with 64 zombies and the day speed's been set to jog. I'm also running a few other quality of life mods, the GNS Weather Mod, Quick Stack and Longer Loot Bags. The Longer Loot Bags have been set to an hour, which might not be long enough towards the end of the challenge, but we'll have to see. Oh, and if you want to play along, I'll release the mod for Patreons after the Day 25 Horde, and put it up on Nexus Mods for everyone after the Day 50 Horde. And yes, that means that I've finally created a Patreon, so if you're interested, please check it out. That's enough rambling from me though, let's get into some zombie carnage. I was hoping to find a tree stump then. A bit of early honey, but not to be. Let's head on. What I really want to find also early is an animal carcass, so that we can get a knife. Grab as many feathers as we can as we go. Oh, there we are, that's what we want. I want a knife because I'm going to go agility, let's grab that now as well. Let's take one into cuts. I also want to get Grease Monkey early so that we can start to get the books for the vehicles. So we grab an Intellect and a Grease Monkey. And then we'll put the last point just back into Agility. So that we can get more melee damage happening early. The reason that we want Agility and Knives for this build and this playthrough is that with the Infinity Horde concept there's going to be a set number of zombies and no time limit for Horde Knight for how quickly we need to get rid of them. So that means potentially taking a little bit slower pace and making sure that we get some good bleed damage on the zombies as they come through will mean that we can get a little bit more kills at least until the cops start showing up and then we might have to change tack then. Better chance to get acid. Sure. And good for 9mm, which is handy for our Jilly build, since we'll also grab pistols. AP ammo. We're a little ways off crafting AP ammo, but, you know, take it while we can. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That is a big win early. Especially if we do go points into stealth uh, bows and arrows. Magazine drum. Also not a bad thing. We're doing pretty well with the books, I have to say. All we need now is the double pocket mod. <laughs> That'll be pretty much everything we could possibly hope for on an early game letterbox run. Starting to get zombies now. Here we go. Our first one. Straight into the water. There's Jen. Around Jen, what else have we got? There's a passing gas over there that doesn't look too bad for a potential base. That might come in handy in a little bit. I'm not going to loot Jen's just yet. Might leave that for a bit later. Hello, Jen. You don't look so good. Oh, that's a bit rough. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. Don't think the antibiotics are going to help, but anyway. Have you got any jobs? Nothing close. That's rubbish. All right. We don't want the berry supplies. I'm going to take the closest fetch. Oh, this is fetch. the best way to get dukes. And rewards. Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know. Alright, biker, I do not want to take you on right now. Let's just avoid you completely. 
So while we run on over, you might be wondering why I wanted to build a mod that made the Horde Knight infinitely long. Well, about 12 months ago, I put out a video about why I thought Game Stage was broken and how basically once you hit the sort of final tier where you've got demos, cops, either feral or radiated or both, and all your other mix of sort of feral, normal and radiated zombies. Beyond that, it, Horde Knight doesn't actually get any harder. What happens instead is, is rather than getting harder, it just pretty much stays the same. Although the game stage calculations allow for more and more zombies, the reality is with the performance of the game as it is, you can't actually get more than 64. And as a result, the settings in the game stages XML file that make for you know hundreds and hundreds of zombies at a time never take effect. So this mod is designed to provide an alternative to that. It will mean that the end game is potentially a little bit slower. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. We're going to find out, but it'll give a little bit of a different flavor to the end game hordes. They're going to get pretty big. They're going to take a while. I'm a little bit nervous for the last one as to how long that's actually going to take to play through, but we'll find out in due course. All right, now we've just got a fetch quest here. So I'm not gonna go wild and crazy. If we can avoid it, we're gonna sneak in. I guess we're doing it the proper way. Ow. Here's where we drop in and presumably die to all of the zombies that spawn. I might actually just, can I knock this out? No. Nah. Can I create any ladders to get myself back out again? Or should I just go for it and yeet it away? Let's just go for it. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? too badly. Just gonna get this out of the way so it doesn't meth mess with the parving when the zombies come. We'll do a quick loot run. We'll see what we've got once we finish that. Oh, I was just about to head back and I've forgotten the satchel. There we go. So I head back to Jens and we'll break down what we got from that. Okay, here we are back at Jens. Quick check, we got a pipe rifle. We'll keep that just in case. So we've got one ranged weapon, a couple of pea mags. A little bit of soup, we'll eat that. Medical journal. Farming book. We've got a structural brace, which we will put in our knife to a little bit of extra damage. There we go. Got some pants, we'll whack them on. The hammer we will keep. 
Am I still hungry? Not too bad. Eat that as well. We also got a cooking pot, which is exciting. And a few other bits and pieces. Amazing! I hope you like your reward. Well, the helmet light's always going to be attractive. Art of mining, not going to be worth it. Helmet light it is. Just need a hat to put it in. Next job, we will take the other close yeah. fetch. I always admired a hard worker. So, before we run off and do the fetch, we've got a skill pen to spend. We're going to put that straight into agility so that the next one can go into cuts. And we're going to do a quick run around and loot Jen's compound, then head over to that parson gas so that we can set up a bit of a loot dump slash base over there for the early game. All right, so pretty much finished the looting at Jen's. Got ourselves a, pair, a couple of pairs of cowboy boots. Whack one of them on. We've got some cooking mags, a couple of knife guys, tools digest. And we couldn't fit these in our inventory. We've got another farming and rifle book. We've also got some meat, which we'll just get rid of now. A bunch of other miscellaneous, a whole bunch of coffee beans. Got a splint, which will come in inevitably handy. A BDU top again, which I will throw on. No hats though, so we can't put in our helmet light yet. And that's about it. So let's head over to the passing guests and clear that out. Since I'm completely encumbered, I might just dump a bunch of gear into this car temporarily. There we go, that should do. Need these while I'm here. This isn't the one, no, it's not the one with the visibility around the side. And I don't think I'm going to get lucky enough to get into that ATM with my single lockpick. Who else is in here? There's got to be one more. Behind the counter, maybe? Apparently not. Just the one. Ow. Didn't quite get that right, did I? In a pinch. Gotta love the early game. Everything's an upgrade. You know, compared to nothing. Vehicle book. And some oil shale. Alright. So what I might just do is set a bit of a ladder up. Stump some stuff off. Okay, let's get cracking. On with the next fetch. Okay, so on the way over you can see I've looted those mailboxes and there's another set just behind those trees over there. And we did get Tactical Warfare, more damage against mountain lions, another knife guy. Handy land, we've got the single armor pocket mod, so that's not too bad. Better than a kick in the teeth. Traps book, butter up, and bar brawling. So, a few more bits and pieces that'll come in handy. And the most service truck, with another vehicle book, wiring book, and a battery. And we are ready to go. Okay, for this one, it's going to be another one of those ones where I've got to go inside, isn't it? But at least we can get back out again. I hate when you're trapped inside. We should start looking for enemies before I start looting. Who have we got? Flames, that's obviously where we need to go. Anybody? Nobody? Surely. Oh, there's the satchel. Oh, I heard somebody. Where are ya? Oop, oh, there you are. Oop, oh, and the fiery one, alright. Don't like it when they're in front and behind. Bleed damage does what my archery skills can't. And off we go. Alright, there's food up there. Apparently I can't get. There we go. Grab some light again. 
that's a locked door. That's where we need to go. I don't like the look of that over there. Do we have an escape plan? Let's check that out later. I think this is the way. That looks like the switch. This is all going to fall, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Turns out not the parts that I thought were going to fall are going to fall. And we're going up, apparently. I just want to get the satchel. I don't want to do the whole thing. Ooh, honey and vitamins. That was lovely. Is that where I came up? Yes, that's where I crawl across. That's where I came up. I guess you're dropping down here into the... Again, into a trapped room. No thank you. That is a 10,000 HP air duct. What the heck is a 10,000 HP air duct doing in a tier one fetch quest? It's like they really don't want me to do and they just want me to drop in and die. What happens if I don't want to drop in and die and I want to have an escape route? Because there's probably a key to open a door once you're in there, but I'll panic, miss that and die. So let's do it this way, which way I sneak in, set off all the zombies, panic, and die. <laughs> That's okay. At least I did it my way. Come on. There we go. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Crunching sounds of zombies everywhere, which I'm probably not even going to want to fight in here. Unless they get stuck. If they get stuck, that'd be great. And I didn't reload my shotgun. Take further. Ow. One down. How many were there? One, two, three, four. Five. Five zombies in that tiny little room on a tier one fetch. And I thought I made stupidly high quests. That is ridiculous. one. There is no way I wouldn't have died in there. Absolutely not. The better players I'm sure can do it, but not me. Alright, here we go. Let's go get the loots. A few rounds of ammo. Pipe baton. We can probably send that. A few more ammo. Bunker Buster, I'll take that, I guess. Not exactly fantastic stuff. Really do with a pipe machine gun or something, to be honest. Seriously, you were gonna fight five zombies in here with no exit. Ah, there's the exit. Well, I think that's normally... I don't think that's normally open. Maybe it is. Maybe I just suck. Anyway, we've got our satchel. I don't think we've got time for another one. So we will go see Jen, get our reward, maybe do a little bit of resource farming, and then try and settle down for the night. Maybe grab some letterboxes on the way back if we can. Those letterboxes did give me a couple of things. We got another urban combat. Always landing silently. Got to take that. Sniper, scrapping, and armor book. All right, now make a wrench. Congratulations. Oh, seriously? I can make my payment to the Duke now. Well, I guess I'll take the Molotovs or the wood just to save me the effort, but I'll take the Molotovs. They will come in handy for Horde Night. While you're here, do you have any jobs that I want or should I check out in the morning? I might leave that and we'll check that out in the morning. What about inventory? While we're here, we can sell that and we'll leave everything else. We've got our extra point at level three, so that'll go into knives in a sec. 
Don't really need any first aid. We've got a few bandages. A beaker would be great, but we can't afford it for later. We've got a cooking pot. I won't take the grill because we don't have any meat yet. Meat stew could come in handy. Keep that in mind. Got some forge books, which will come in handy as well. Water filter, of course, will be a priority early on. A few other bits and pieces. How much is that cap? I might I just grab that better. unless I can make something. Can I make a padded hood? No, I don't have duct tape. Can I make duct tape? I know I've got some glue. Hopefully I've got some cloth. All right, let's do that. Let's head on over to the pass and gas. If we've got no cloth, that might suck a little bit, but we'll see how we go. Let's hunker down here and hope no one notices us. I've got nowhere to fight zombies and hopefully no way for them to get up to me. I haven't double checked that, but it looks pretty good. There's our two duct tape. Can we make... No, now that we've got that, we don't have enough to make the padded hood. That's all right. We're not far off. So we'll keep one deck tape on us for the morning. We'll keep the cloth on us, and then we can put all that together and make a hood. Now we've got a skill point to spend. That goes into deep cuts. Okay, coming up on dawn. You can hear a few zombies still making their way around the bottom. Unfortunately for me, one of those is a feral. So I've been stuck up here all night, pottering around the camp, getting done what I can. I've run out of wood to make the base and to cook. But, you know, we got done a little bit. We did some inventory sorting out. We took an extra point into cuts. And there is the morning. So from here, time to load up with our baked potato. Got two of those now. We're a bit hungry, so we're just going to eat them straight up. Got a little bit of water to get us through the day. We'll put that golden run back in our storage. In case we need that later. Don't need the paper. We're keeping the cloth and the duct tape so that we can make a padded helmet and put in that helmet light. And now, I was going to say it's time to go see Jen, except that she's not open just yet, so it's time to go grab some materials. Since we can change the base, we're going to need a whole bunch more wood and then start doing some stone for cobble as well. Alright, did the gamble pay off? It did not. We've got three buried supplies that are all a long way away. A fetch that's decent and a clear zombie. If you do this for me, I will. Do hurry. I have a protection payment. I'm very coming annoyed soon. with that outcome, but what can you do? First thing you can do is run out and go and do this fetch. Let's get into it. Well, you lad. Got shot. Can I see? I can see someone in there. Let's wake them up as well. Yeah. Where'd that come from? Sneaking up behind me. Just in time. Still can't shoot. Kaboom. And can we make the padded helmet? Yay! Might as well finish this one. I think feel like we've done pretty much all of it.
Ow. Didn't get out of the crouch fast enough. Who's in here? Surely one. At least. Two. Oh good. Let's get some deep damage going. That fight in life. Are you? Yeah. One down. Two down. All right. So, cooking book. We can make grilled meat. That's a start. I might just eat those rations though. Get rid of those pine cones. Oh, our helmet's done. Let's put in our helmet light. And now we can see what we're doing. So much better. I'm gonna take that to sell. Leave that. Take the rest. And came for which was the satchel. Alright, another cooking pot, and we're done. Alright, let's head back to Jen. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. And I'll take the cobblestone. The ammo is tempting, but I'm not going to do shotguns since I'm doing agility build. And, you know, pipe shotgun is rubbish. So we're definitely going to take the cobblestone for base building. In terms of other jobs, it's really only going to be the clear zombies because I hate doing buried supplies. You looking to earn some dukes? I got jobs for someone like you. But I don't think we're going to have a choice. Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know. Apocalypse hygiene and all. Get rid of that. We're not going to take steel spear parts anytime soon, so we'll sell that as well. And we're doing all right. Not quite at water filter. That's probably going to be the first purchase. So we'll head back to passing gas, dump our gear off, and then head out to the clear Remember zombies. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Cool. Now, since I'm on the way, and we were talking about meat before. Isn't there, there is a pig there. Is it gonna kill us? <laughs> that is the question. Or will it get stuck? And we're out of arrows. He can't see us. <laughs> yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Is that the only one? Let's risk it. Oh, he's right behind that rock. Let's just make a little retreat. And we'll leave him there. We got our pig, let's not push our luck. Alright, let's get the show on the road. And there he is. Vulture bird. What we got? Never know where they are in these ones. Probably one in the toilet, because, you know, that's where I'd hide if I was a zombie. Problem. And we do have a toilet zombie. Oh, and we've woken up someone else as well. Okay. Take this wood while we're here. Take the engine, forge ahead. Let's head upstairs, clear the rest out. particularly worth writing home about. And back to Jen's. Starting to think you like Dr. Jen. I'll like you more if you give me some good loot. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. 
Uh, do I want the duct tape or the ammo? I'm going to take the duct uh, the ammo. I'm going to take the ammo. I've already got in a bunch of Molotovs. An armor pocket mud here isn't going to do us a lot of good and we can make them ourselves. So let's take the ammo. And varied supplies it is, I guess. Oh, this is the best way to get dukes and rewards. Now you might also be wondering why I'm not playing with the Trader Quest Addendum extra quest that I created. Partly because I wanted this to be a mostly vanilla experience. Again, just to show off the difference of having the different Horde Knight structure coming. And also because I need to do some work on them. Been getting lots and lots of great feedback from people on how to improve the quests and make them better for both single and multiplayer. So I'll need to put a bit of time in that in the coming weeks and months just to make things a little bit more streamlined. Okay, here we go. Now I've got two more skill points. So just before we start digging, I don't really need armor yet or running gun. I'd love to use Gunslinger, but I don't have a gun. So I may just actually pump these. We either need tools, because we're going to need to do a lot of material farming later. Or we could go into advanced engineering so that we get some more books. We might put that one there to try and get our forge books up and one into agility since I would really love to get the next level of deep cuts. All right, let's start digging. Very little over here, so we're, I think we're digging the right way. Oh, ho, ho. we are digging the right way. Now, can we get out easily? Let's just knock this here in case we can't, in case we get zombies. Okay, a couple of jumps and we'll be out. Get some stamina back in case we meet lots of bads. have some beds there we go only three Ooh, I'll take that I'll take that I'll take that well overall that wasn't too bad for a buried supplies quest usually a lot more painful all right let's get back to Jen see if we can afford that water filter if you're uh, feeling under the weather I've got just what the doctor ordered congratulations I can make my payment to the Duke now uh, nothing particularly great here although that is the double pocket mod book so I am going to take that because everything else is a bit rubbish and since it's still relatively early I'm gonna push my luck a bit of a problem. Hurry back and soon, take on another very nice supplies but firstly can I afford it 2500 I think I can just 2250 there we go I hope you get feeling better lovely all right so let's just head straight on out and see if we can knock off this buried supply before nightfall which would be fantastic Okay, here we go. No messing about. Let's put down our blocks and get digging. Underneath us, let's head back this way. Oop, and there we are. Just 
got to get down to it in a way that I can get back out again. Yep. Where we go? Where are you? One, two. No, he's not coming. Ah, crawl. Well, that was also relatively painless. As far as buried quests go, I've spent much longer on them than in the past, so very happy with that. I think we'll get back to Jen and have time to do a little bit of work on the outside of the Horde base. It's not really much of a Horde base, really just a mini platform for fighting off zombies at night at the moment, but I'll take that to begin with and we can spend some time in the next few days building something a little bit more substantial for the initial day five Horde. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. Don't really want a sniper or a muzzle brake. I think I'll take the ammo again. And do I want to start my day tomorrow with that? Don't really. Let's again skip it. It means we'll waste a little bit of time in the morning, but I think that's better than doing a, th a third buried supplies in a row. Hopefully she'll have some fetches or some clears Maybe for us. Maybe next time I'll have what you need. Or even a crazy fetch clear. What do we need for a filter? Got that. Do we have polymer? And do we have duct tape? We can probably make the duct tape with the glue. No, we've only got two. And we don't have enough polymer. What we need to do is quickly go ransack something. Let's see if we can get some polymer and some glue. buried supplies quest is that we haven't been indoors a lot. So let's see what we can break down. Right, you're stuck outside. Ransack and see what we can grab. <laughs> Cooking magazine to get us the bacon and eggs wouldn't go astray. Here soon. I don't want to be caught at nightfall. That would be bad. What have we got? Three minutes. Nope, it's time to go. Because it's night of day two, and that's a good spot to stop. We'll do some work overnight to get things cleaned up, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Infinity Horde. Please drop a like on the video if you have. As always with a playthrough, we're just getting established in the early days, but I hope this was entertaining and you'll join me for the rest of the series. I can't wait to get into the Horde Knights and see how things change with the Horde Knight that won't end until enough zombies have been killed, and I especially want to see how this plays out for the Infinite Day 50 Horde. Thanks as always for watching, and happy building.